They are among the biggest explosions of radio energy in the entire universe. Betelgeuse, the gigantic red supergiant star located in the constellation Oran, is indeed a fascinating celestial object. While it captivates us with its brightness and unique characteristics, it possesses extreme risks to our solar system and consequently to us. Due to its dimming of light, the supernova of this star might actually happen sooner than we predicted. But if that were to happen, NASA, along with other organizations, have some mind-blowing plans to shield Earth from this dangerous outcome. But how and why? Let's find out. Betelgeuse likes to play with its brightness. It's what we call a variable star, which means its brightness goes up and down, sometimes in a big way. But what's really interesting is that this star is getting brighter these days, and scientists are actually scared of it. You see, in the past, Betelgeuse had a regular pattern of getting brighter and dimmer, taking about 400 days to complete the cycle. However, something unusual happened in 2019. Betelgeuse suddenly expelled a chunk of its outer layers, causing a violent event. Ever since then, the star's cycles of brightness have been acting differently. Instead of taking the usual 400 days, these cycles have become shorter. It's like the star's behavior has changed, and scientists are intrigued by this unexpected twist. Supernova, we think it has to be at least eight times more massive than our sun. But why is Betelgeuse getting brighter? Well, Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life. In the not-too-distant future, Betelgeuse will undergo an extraordinary transformation, and its massive stellar explosion will release an enormous amount of energy and matter into space. Scientists have been eagerly observing Betelgeuse, and they've noticed that it's starting to show signs of getting ready for its grand finale. As the star prepares for this cosmic spectacle, it's putting on a dazzling show by becoming even more radiant. Betelgeuse has a massive diameter and behaves in an unpredictable manner, making it hard to understand. Despite this, scientists are in awe of its immense power and what it could potentially reveal. But with that, how exactly is Betelgeuse a threat to us? One of the reasons Betelgeuse could be harmful is because of its sheer size. This star is dangerously massive, with a diameter estimated to be more than 1,000 times that of our own sun. Its immense mass exerts a tremendous gravitational force, which can disrupt the balance of nearby celestial bodies. If Betelgeuse were to come too close to our solar system, it could disturb the carefully orchestrated orbits of planets, comets, and asteroids. This disturbance might lead to collisions or disturbances in the delicate equilibrium of our solar neighborhood. Another aspect that makes Betelgeuse potentially dangerous is its life cycle. Being a supergiant star, it is approaching the end of its life and will eventually explode in a supernova. When this happens, the explosion will release an extraordinary amount of energy and matter. While the exact effects of a supernova on our solar system depend on its distance from Earth, it could have significant consequences. Firstly, the intense radiation emitted during a supernova could reach our planet and pose a threat to life as we know it. The high-energy gamma rays and X-rays unleashed in the explosion can ionize atoms and damage DNA, potentially causing harmful mutations and increasing the risk of cancer. Moreover, the blast wave generated by the supernova can have far-reaching consequences. The shock wave can compress nearby interstellar gas and dust, triggering the formation of new stars or even causing the collapse of molecular clouds. These cascading effects can lead to the birth of massive stars, which, in turn, might undergo the same explosive fate as Betelgeuse, perpetuating the cycle of destruction. Furthermore, the explosion of Betelgeuse could release a torrent of cosmic rays consisting of high-energy particles that can pose a hazard to astronauts in space missions. These particles can penetrate spacecraft, damaging electronic systems, and increasing the risk of radiation sickness for crew members. The Hubble Space Telescope captured precise photographs of the surface of Betelgeuse, revealing fascinating patterns of gas and dust. Astronomers have been able to identify several of Betelgeuse's features, such as its size, temperature, and composition, by analyzing the light it emits. This star is classified as a pulsing red supergiant, which implies it's a massive old star that expands and contracts. And when it does, the night sky can become brighter or darker. The brightness changes can occur over a long period of time, ranging from tens to hundreds of days. What's more, 
The brightness of Betelgeuse can range from about 0.5 to as bright as magnitude zero. These observations have made it possible for scientists to model the star's behavior and predict how it will behave in the future. Betelgeuse's surface is also covered with dark spots, commonly referred to as star spots or magnetic spots, which are regions of the star's surface with a particularly intense magnetic field. The magnetic field prevents heated gas from the star's center from flowing to its surface, making these regions colder than the surrounding gas. Consequently, the patches appear darker than the surrounding gas due to a cooling effect. It is believed that the magnetic field of Betelgeuse is several thousand times stronger than that of the Sun. This strong magnetic field traps gas on the surface of the star in loops or arcs, producing visible areas of intense magnetic activity. Now, if it goes supernova, how would scientists protect Earth from its effect? 1. Early warning systems. Scientists continuously observe celestial objects like Betelgeuse using a network of telescopes and instruments. By monitoring the star's behavior and detecting any unusual signs, such as changes in brightness or spectral characteristics, scientists can provide early warnings of an impending supernova. They would promptly share this information with space agencies and organizations responsible for space exploration, allowing them to initiate preparedness plans and implement protective measures. Two, radiation shielding. To protect against the intense radiation emitted during a supernova, scientists would focus on developing advanced shielding mechanisms. They would conduct research to identify materials with high radiation absorption properties, such as lead or other dense metals. Spacecraft and habitats would be equipped with multiple layers of shielding, strategically positioned to minimize radiation exposure for astronauts and sensitive electronic systems. Three, spacecraft redirection. If a Betelgeuse supernova were to occur within a certain proximity to our solar system, scientists might consider redirecting spacecraft to minimize their exposure to the blast wave and cosmic rays. By analyzing the trajectory and timing of the explosion, they could determine alternative paths or trajectories that would keep spacecraft and their occupants safe. This redirection could involve adjustments to the orbit or flight path of satellites, probes, and even crewed missions. 4. Astronaut Safety Measures In the event of a nearby supernova, astronauts aboard the International Space Station ISS, or on long-duration space missions would be instructed to take shelter in designated shielded areas of their spacecraft. These areas, often referred to as storm shelters, would feature additional layers of radiation shielding, such as water-filled compartments or thick radiation-absorbing panels. Astronauts would remain in these protected areas until the threat of radiation has subsided. 5. Planetary Protection Scientists would assess the potential impact of the supernova on nearby planets and their ecosystems. If necessary, measures would be taken to protect vulnerable environments. For example, if a supernova were projected to release a significant amount of radiation towards a planet like Mars, shielding around planetary bases and habitats would be reinforced to minimize exposure. Additionally, Stringent containment protocols might be implemented to prevent the spread of radiation-induced contamination between planets and moons. Number 6. Spacecraft and Habitat Design Engineers and scientists would work together to design and modify spacecraft and habitats to withstand the intense radiation of a Betelgeuse supernova. These structures would incorporate multiple layers of shielding, such as radiation-absorbing panels, water-filled compartments, or advanced composite materials that can minimize radiation penetration and protect crew members and critical systems. However, scientists have different opinions on when Betelgeuse might go supernova. Some people believe that the cosmic event will happen very soon, while others think it might take tens of thousands of years. But based on the amount of dimming we're seeing, it's likely that the event is closer than we'd like it to be. Now, you might know a thing or two about this star, but trust me, this star has more to it than you can see. Watch this video and you'll know exactly what I am talking about.